Hi everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. Today I'm excited to bring you a look, and this is going to be a little bit of a mini-series here, but a brand new collection by Ellen Villa. It's called Changes. And the piece that I'm going to review for you out of that collection is called Touch. It's in a brand new color, Candy Blonde Rooted. So as you know, Ellen Villa is a German wig maker, and they sell broadly in Europe and the U.S. However, sometimes the product offerings are different um, in Europe than they are in the U.S. And so uh, a lot of times, too, you can see the same exact wig, or very, very close, and uh, they're marketed under different style names, uh, depending on where it's being sold. So Touch is only available currently in the, on the, in the European markets. And I want to give you the name and links to a retailer that does a beautiful job of reaching all of us fans across the pond with some of these styles. It's called Continental Wigs. Um, they're uh, more of a boutique kind of a store in the UK. They do offer a wide variety of options that are sold just in Europe, but they will ship very reasonably to the United States. So this is Touch. It's a beautiful mid-length layered style, but I want to talk about this color first, this Candy Blonde Rooted. I think that um, the market has finally caught up with the the demand for some ashier or more neutral blonde shades. What you're going to find is a base shade of a like a medium sandy blonde. Um, it, there's a 27 in the color code, but you know what? I don't see any kind of warmth to that, any significant warmth. It looks very neutral to me. And then it is highlighted with a very pale ash blonde, almost a white on the tips. And then all of that is on a medium brown root. On the website, there are no specs listed. So I went ahead and took my own measurements. It looks like this front piece, that front layer there at the bang, is about 9 inches. And it's just a bit curly here. And then we have overall length of about 15 inches. And on the sides, I would say there's about a 10 inch layer here on the sides. It has some beautiful shaggy texture to it. Let's go ahead and get up close on this lace front. So like I said, they did bring that highlight right up to the root. That softens that a bit, and I think the knots are very fine. And then the left-hand monofilament side part, you can definitely see the illusion of scalp, and that does run back to the crown. This, this style, I wanna talk about it a moment because it's just so effortless and undone. Um, I love that about this because it's very casual and flirty, unassuming. It's definitely not fussy at all. And uh, it has all these beachy kind of uh, shattered waves. The ends are kind of textured and layered as well so that you can get some really nice feathery movement. The fibers are on the dry side, just meaning they're super baby fine. There's not a lot of shine to them. the Beltress brand. I feel like this might be on par with that brand, just in terms of what I'm noticing with density, what I'm noticing with cap features and lace, uh, lace feature quality. Here's a look at the inside of the cap for Ellen Villa's Touch in the Changes Collection. There's your temple to temple lace front. It does extend back into the ear tab. It's nicely contoured. It blends seamlessly back into that left monofilament side part. You have a bit of rose lace there to obscure wefting. Closed uh, velvet ear tabs and extended velvet nape with Velcro adjusters. There's quite a bit of stretch on this style. I did cinch in the adjusters just a tad 
to accommodate my petite average circumference. I'm sure this color brings to mind another certain color that was brand new for last year that uh, everybody fell in love with, and that is Melted Marshmallow by Renee of Paris. I have Melted Marshmallow here on my Kai piece by Renee of Paris, so to, we're gonna do a comparison, because if you love Melted Marshmallow, I really think you're going to fall in love with this Candy Rooted Blonde, as I did. So really, it's almost identical colors. You've got that sandy base with the very pale ash blonde tips, almost white, same with this one, and all of that is on a medium brown root. I think the rooting is actually done a little better here on the Candy Blonde. Um, it just seems to be a little less dark and a little more ashy in tone. right out of the box which is just meant to be free and unencumbered um, and so I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot with it but maybe manipulate these front pieces to show off that lace front a little bit so I always love to take my blingy clip here pull the bang away from the face go ahead and secure it back expose the lace front and it also helps keep things out of the way but it's cute Because of the low permatease and low density, this is going to be a great hat wig as well. Um, if you have a ball cap or something, it'll nicely fit down over the wig. You can definitely get a very cute ponytail out of this and you don't have to use much. So I wouldn't go to a claw clip. I don't think there's a whole lot of hair here to work with in terms of a claw clip. You have about a half of an inch diameter here on a ponytail. Um, but I think that a pressure clip would work well and look really cute. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.